Next, we're going to add tenants. So to do that, we're going to click on the property and tenant button and click on add tenant. Here we enter a tenant, a tenant name. We then associate it to a property and a unit number. We enter the, the rent amount, when the rent is due, and what account that rent is deposited to. You can then add contact information if you choose, terms and agreements, this is a month to month, this is a one year lease. If it is a one year lease, what is the start and end date? If there is a grace period for, for uh, rent payments, add how many days and what late fee you associate or have assigned to that lease. Enter the move-in date. We can then add the security deposit and the date that the security deposit was entered. We then click OK. One thing to note is that as soon as I created this tenant and added a $1,200 security deposit, it automatically created this security liability account. This keeps track of uh, your security deposit liability because even though that amount is will be deposited into your checking account, uh, it is not considered a, uh, a gain. It's, it's money that you owe back to your tenant. So we also want to, since we collected that $1,200 security deposit, we want to enter that into the regist register. So I'm going to click on here uh, under my rental property checking account. Um, two, one, I'm going to add a tenant one security deposit. Now, Notice that there's no rental security category. What I'm going to do is create it. So rental security, add category, type it again, is income. There's no tax reporting. So I'm not gonna choose that as a tax related item. And click okay. We want to add this or tag this so that it's associated with our property. And then the amount that's been deposited. Click Save. So now we can see that our rental property checking account has 3200 in it. There is a liability that we owe to the tenant of $1,200. And that our net worth is back down to 127000 Let's click back on rental property. And let's add some more tenants. Same process. Tenant two. Same process here. Add another tenant. Say so this is another one. Let's say you have a different start and end date for a lease. Let's make this a seventh, a seventh month lease. So it starts on the first of February and ends on the last day of September. Same 
Same grace period. Eight V. Even date. Oops. Now look at that. I associated this tenant to the wrong property. So what do I do? I, I click on the tenant's name and then I change the property that it's associated to. Click OK. And there it automatically associated to the, to the other unit. So as you see, I added uh, some more uh, uh, tenants. Um, my liabilities have increased. Uh, as you can see, I have two more $1,200 security deposits, so I need to add those into my uh, register. Two, so security, three, save. security and you can choose to enter uh, uh, if you want to keep the um, security deposits associated with the unit itself you can uh, choose the sub tag it will, for reporting purposes when you report off of 123 Smith Street you can choose to report off of these sub tags as well so that you grab all all uh, income and expenses with with a property whether it's associated to a unit or not save and there we go our net worth is the same amount as, as we started uh, there's no difference or change so that's it that's how you add uh, tenants to Quicken 2013 rental property manager